Alright, so today on this Weezer might be, we agreed to help these people with their, um, the cryptozoologists with their traps, so we're just gonna, like, do some work, uh, some more stuff on the beach, I guess, because we're really Hello, waiting for the, uh, Gary. Very generous of you to help us out, officer. we're really waiting for the smoker guy to come Yo back. Man. I mean, officer. You are a crypto-fascist, alright. Lieutenant All right. raises his eyebrows slightly and takes out his notebook. Yellow man. Interesting. This is something to ask him about. After a little probing first. Yes, he I'm is just a fascist. I'm waiting for my friend to finish up with his insect traps so we can return to civilization. Civilization. I like nature, just not this bloody coast. It's mostly drunks and degenerates that come here. Dark times will do that to good men. Gotta be. Alright, I don't All know what right. I'm saying here. So that's what the RCM in Martinez is about. Great. Great to hear someone's finally taking care of that. Yeah, So you great. do know something about it? No, no. Nothing. He was some kind of mercenary. But everyone here knows that. I'm just glad to hear you're looking into it. That's all. His voice actor, I don't think, is great he's either. He's feeling very comfy in his clothes, is he? Or Strange. maybe he's doing a certain type of, like... Putting on a certain type of air that I'm not really not picking up on. Not many lights here, or anywhere, other than sail. I meant no offense, truly. Oh, yes. <laughs> of course he is. I was just speaking about his... connections. Let's change the subject, okay? Okay, not a big fan of you either, Gary. No, I will no. say. I help Morel with research sometimes, and I've learned some things along the way. But I don't usually go in for picnics like this on my own. I learned from the uh, lorry driver, the mug. The, you know what? We'll see what his reaction is. My mug? W why would you think that? His eyes widen at the sight of the mug. He's seen it before. Yeah. Really? I hear it all the time. Well, all in jest, of course. No offense meant to anyone. Okay, I don't hear it all the time. Okay, I admit it. I threw the mug away in the trash container behind the hostel. I know I shouldn't have, and I am very sorry, officer. Wait, it actually is his mug? You're not going to find me, are you? Let's be calm for right now. Thank you. you won't regret this. I won't use another man's property to dump my garbage ever again. I don't know what got into me, really. Work has been stressful lately. Damn Koiko's price dumping us out of competition. I gotta butter up a little bit so I can get more info on, like, what how do that... What you do, Gary? <laughs> also, like, the... That combined with the Australian accent really is a good Nothing. line there. Nothing. Just answering some questions, helping out the law. Yeah, you're helping, all right. The guy who works with the trash collection services, CS Municipal. He gave me a master key for the trash containers of Martinez. What? So I can use the Whirling's trash compactor to store my own stuff. Garbage disposal is expensive as hell. The damn Bohemians run it like a mob. I'm sorry, okay? I thought I could cut costs. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have disgraced myself. Disgraced? No need for the histrionic, sir. It was, after all, just a trash container. He studies his reaction. Gary doesn't answer. Yeah, that's Officer, the bigger please. question. Let me explain. It's not like that. I was only cleaning up. I live right across the yard from where he was hanged, and I saw him stripped naked. All the clothes lying around in the yard, smelling. People are animals, you know? That is that is very suspicious, I will then say. Then I came out to clean up the rags, because no one else would. I put them into the Whirling's trash, along with a broken mug, admittedly. Okay. I was coming to throw the mug away, and, well, I threw the mug there, and the clothes too. Right. It was just civic duty. 
He does have a um, very certain kind of voice, exactly. I gotta say. That's exactly what it was. Civic duty. As he shifts uncomfortably, a series of clicks, like the clinking of glass beads against one another as they roll across a hardwood floor. You've heard oh, the Oh, that's before. good. But where? I'm glad I showed him the mug. We're getting what stuff out of him. Sound? I haven't the slightest. There's lots of weird stuff out here in the reeds, though. Insects, trash. Could be the wind shifting some garbage nearby. Oh, we're about to get a few tasks unlocked the here. Sound you Finished. Heard was not the sound of something easily abandoned. Yeah. Armor? No. I, I mean, yes. Of course. I know he was wearing armor. But I don't know anything about it. I There's something do. going on here. You should observe it more closely after this topic is concluded. Nice. I hope I can help your investigation in my small way. Oh, you're going to, Ooh. buddy. Does this mean you are in his apartment, admiring his colonial mug collection? Perhaps it would be interesting to tell him. Yeah, let's get a... That's good. Let's get him under my thumb sure here. Do, officer. His eyes narrow slightly. He's wondering where this is going. Yeah. How? Yeah. But why were you in my apartment, officer? That, that's. I, I'm a police officer. I can do whatever I want. So you work for Everard Claire? Officer, please tell him we're good. No, no, tell him I'll make it up to him. Oh, nice. What have I done? He'll send the muscle after me. As he lowers his tone, he hunches his back. Uh, let's now we pressure him a what bit. What can it be about? I probably talked too loud in the whirling about some theories I had. Whatever it is, I'm done with it. I don't like helping Everett because he's all corrupt and that, but I don't like Gary either. I think so. I think oh, I will help I Everett for the again. sake of making if them there's squirm. there's anything I can do to assist you or the union, just ask. Okay. I'll try to help if I can. Oh, there is, buddy boy. This scared him proper. He's positively melting yeah. from fear. Has to prop himself up with a lot of anger to keep it together. The weather vane has turned. He cannot be unturned. He clearly liked his squirming. He may even have changed his mind about the whole door opening operation. There we go. Now we should be able to hopefully... Is he? He's looking comfortable enough. Maybe it was just beads. Oh. Sounded like beads. <laughs> but what kind of beads might a man like Gary be hiding beneath his Oh, clothes? that's such a... I'm kind of glad I failed this off. I gotta go with this. You wouldn't be able to hear if you were wearing any beads. Please excuse my colleague's humor. Working this murder case is taking a toll on us both. You don't quite have to answer that yet. <laughs> what he means oh. is... Working on the case is taking that a toll. That was good. I like you. that. And working with you know, is taking a toll on. I'm a big fan of uh, of course, anal beads of in general. I, he must be a chess player. I mean, his name's Gary after all. I do want to unlock it though, so we'll put a point into composure, and then we will um try that again. Besides, we have a point to spare here. Where is composure? There we go. I got a six and I'm surprised I failed. Officer of the law. I mean officers. Yeah, okay. That there we go. Very uncomfortable on him. Look at the buttons. Barely keeping that thing together. As if something is ready to rip out from underneath. Now we can yes, get him. Like a piece of ceramic armor, for example. One that makes a clicking sound when the plates meet each other, resembling pearls or marbles, stolen from the corpse in the yard near where he lives. I knew you'd figure it out, officer. I'm sorry I didn't tell you at once. I was... I was ashamed of what I did. 
and I didn't want you to know. All right, now grab this it off him. That's all we gotta do here. Is surprisingly sincere. Yeah, we we got him shook Gary, before. What's going on? <laughs> Later, <laughs> morale. I've got apologizing to do. You no, sure do, Buckaroo. You've got explaining to do. He sighs again. Nice, nice, head, nice. And unbuttons his shirt fully. A cuirass that matches the dead man's boots comes into view. Soon it is in your hands, smelling of his sweat. Gross, but I'll take it. But so, so light to hold, like a bag of cotton. Yeah. Everyone was picking those pieces off him, and I was watching them do it. And they scattered his clothes all over the yard. Everything was smelling. We should press him if, if he knows anyone else who took a piece off him. So I went there to take out the trash. If we need a piece, I guess. Up. All those rags on the nice ground. Have us, swinging I think. up there, and I had a lapse of honor, sir. I thought he's a foreigner. They all say he wasn't from here. Yeah, you're sure. Crypto Fash is all right, left, buddy. So I stripped it off him. It was early in the morning. No one saw me. I took it with me. It was a mistake. Had I known it'd give you guys trouble, I, I wouldn't have. Fuck. You, you knew. It's okay. It was a loose end, and you are tying it up now. I'm so fucking sorry I called you yellow man. CLI officers commanded the suzerain's navy. Most of them sided with the king when uh, they were thoroughly conservative men. He realizes suddenly. That's not a great rationale to not be it's racist. It's difficult to say what the lieutenant thinks of this historic apology. His face does not belie emotions. Well, we might as well just keep pressing him for different because information we can. Weak. I should have told you the moment I saw you, but... The hell, Gary? You in trouble? I'll explain later. I always thought it was the Union, but I sure as hell won't go around saying that anymore. You have my word. I don't know, and I won't be running my mouth on this subject anymore. Yes, absolutely. I will nice. never do anything like this again. And there's my skill point back, I just like that. I won't mess with Mr. Clare either. You have my word. I, I don't actually care about that. You can mess with him all you want. But yeah, alright, not what I thought we were going to do today, but a uh, new skill point. I got, uh, <laughs> I could repair them. Is that, a, does it count as a shirt? Pain threshold and volition for empathy. It is actually better, but I feel like it's not in taste. I won't do it right now at the very least. So what have we done? We've uh, we found morale. We did some other stuff here. I don't know at all. We know what we did today, and I guess that is um that's gonna be our current session of Disco Elysium. Did I just save? My brain does not work at all. I did. All right, and that's uh quick session of Disco Elysium. I, it's a nice little package though we managed to get together. Oh, I should stop the recording process too.